In this video, we are busting 25 Stardew Valley myths. Let's get straight to it. Myth. Petting your pet is pointless because it does nothing. This is actually not true. If you pet your animal and fill up their water bowl, they will eventually reach a certain level of friendship. Your pet will say they love you and it will count towards grandpa's evaluation. Myth. You can reset the game to change your mail. If you receive mail with a gift from any of the villagers and it's not the item you want or need, then just reset the game and check your mailbox again. Do this until you get the item you need. Works great on Pam for battery packs. Myth. Bulletin board is overpowered in the early game for friendship. This is absolutely true. The bulletin board will only give you quests for villagers that you have met. So if you only meet a single villager, then you will only get quests for that villager. Meaning you can max out their relationship extremely early. Myth. The mushroom cave is better than the fruit bath cave. Guys, I can't really answer this one. They are both good. Pick the fruit bath cave for easier community center completion and pick the mushroom cave if you want to craft life elixirs. Myth. Linus has no friends and avoids everyone. Well, this one is just not true at all. One of Linus's best friends is the wizard during the Spirits Eve festival. You can use the jumping mod to reach this ledge over here. Here you can see Linus just hanging out with the wizard. They are good old time friends. Myth. The botanist profession sucks because truffle oil sells for more. The botanist profession will cause all truffles to only be iridium quality and those sell for 1250 gold. But if you have the artisan profession, the truffle oil sells close to 1500 gold. However, it takes an entire 6 in-game hours to turn truffles into truffle oil. An extra 6 hour step for an extra 100 and 50 gold. Myth. If you water a bomb just before it explodes, it will water all of your crops. This is an easy way to trick your friends into destroying all of their crops. Myth. All key fruit will disappear when the quest ends. This is true. If you fail or complete the quest successfully, all of the fruit and beans will disappear. But you can drop a few into kegs to create key fruit wine as a souvenir. Myth. Cracking open a geode on a lucky day can improve the chance of you getting a prismatic shard. I wish this was true. I really do. But unfortunately, it is not. The truth is, each and every single geode is predetermined based on your game seed. And you can actually find out exactly when you will receive a geode using the Stardew Valley predictor. On this brand new save file, I am guaranteed to get a prismatic shard on my 39 Omni geode, which is actually really early compared to most seeds. Myth. Always search for forageables on a rainy day because they spawn after it rains. I actually thought this one was true when I first started playing the game, but rain has absolutely no effect on the amount of forageables that spawn in the game. Instead, forageables will spawn randomly every single day, but they will reset on Sundays. So always make sure to look for forageables on Saturdays. Myth. After a rainy day, there will be more artifact spots. I also believe this was a real thing. But rain has absolutely no effect on artifact spots. It is what it is. Myth. You worked so hard to get married and your spouse will love you forever for your hard work. Unfortunately, your spouse will not love you forever. With all of the other villagers, if you get marriage candidates to 8 hearts or the other villagers to 10 hearts, their relationships will never decay. However, the same is not true for your spouse. Even if you get your spouse all the way up to 14 hearts, they can still decay some points each and every day. You will only lose 20 points per day if you don't speak to them. But if you are like me and are often stuck on Ginger Island, completely neglecting them, then your relationship will crumble in no time. Myth. Concerned Ape doesn't want us to use glitches. You know what? I think this is probably true for all game developers. Imagine spending hundreds of hours developing a game from scratch just to have the players abuse glitches and skip the hardships. If you change your name to an in-game item ID, this message will display. After a few seconds, another message will display saying he is joking. So yeah, don't feel too bad about abusing glitches.
myth. You can rig the slots at the casino for profit. This used to be a thing. There used to be a pattern that you could abuse for maximum profit. Unfortunately, that was removed in the 1.4 update, making it more of a gamble even though it favors the players slightly. Myth: The shipping bin will sell items at a reduced rate. Nope, selling crops or fish to the shopkeepers will sell for the exact same amount as selling them through the shipping bin. And the bonuses from professions will apply in all scenarios. Myth Luck affects how hard the enemies are in the mines and skull caverns. Unfortunately, the only thing that luck affects is the likelihood of finding a ladder or a shaft and the chance of finding a treasure floor in the skull cavern. The enemies are unaffected. Myth You can control the weather. This is actually true. The weather in the game is controlled by how many steps you have taken. So if you know exactly how many steps you have taken, and if you have a predicted tool, you can actually walk just enough so that you can completely control the weather. This is way too hard to pull off in a normal playthrough, but it is possible. Myth Coffee and spicy eel buffs affect the speed of your fishing bar and make it easier to fish. This would be pretty cool if it was actually true, but unfortunately, it does not. I guess we'll just have to live with this slow fishing bar. Myth Holding a rabbit's foot in your inventory will increase your luck. I'm not quite sure where this came from, but holding a rabbit's foot in your inventory will not increase your luck. This isn't real life. However, bringing a rabbit's foot to the van by the Jojo Mart will reward you with a special charm and that will increase your luck. Myth It is impossible to catch an iridium quality legendary fish. I mostly agree with this one. To catch an iridium quality fish, you will need a perfect catch. This seems impossible to me. However, you can catch iridium quality legendary fish with the help of a quality bobber. It might just be a little bit harder since you won't be using a tackle that makes fishing easier. Myth Does luck affect drops and coins in Journey of the Prairie King? I wish it did. I really wish it did. Because this arcade game is actually a nightmare. But Concerned Ape confirmed it himself that luck has absolutely no effect on drops. Myth The beach farm is only for experienced players. The beach farm does have one major limitation in that it can only hold very few sprinklers. But I think the beach farm is perfectly fine for new players. You might just make gold slower, but you'll be fine, I promise. Myth The strange capsule and the stone owl events are incredibly rare. This is an interesting one because this used to be true. There used to be a bug in the game that would make these events so rare. Dangerously Funny tried for a couple hundred in-game years and still could not get these events to trigger. But these bugs have been fixed in the latest 1.5 update. These are not so very rare anymore. Some players even have a full collection of these on their farms. Myth Ancient fruit seeds are rare and hard to find. You know what? It really does seem like these things are hard to come by. And it is true that they are rare if you are hoping to stumble onto them. But there is a way to actually grind for these seeds and it is ridiculously easy. All you need to do is enter floor 15 in the regular mines and smash some bugs. All insects have a small chance to drop an ancient fruit seed. But since there are so many of them, it's relatively easy to get the seeds by hunting them down. Myth The chicken statue causes your chickens to cower in fear and produce more eggs. Is this real? Is this fake? I don't know. You tell me. And those are the myths I randomly found online that I busted. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.